Hi, good morning, Dr. Melody here. Happy Monday to you. Welcome to our Monday Morning Momentum. This is a live Devo that we do in the Fit Plus Faith community on Monday mornings. And then it is a message that we can carry on through through the rest of our week. And so I'm going to, I'm gonna pull this up on our Facebook and then share this into our groups and then we'll see who we get to join us this morning. All right, we've got a lot of exciting things going on in our community this week. Man, we're wrapping up a 21 day challenge, a 21 day Facebook, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's on Facebook, it's a 21 day um, mental wellness challenge that wraps up this week, so that's been really fun. Good morning, is this Diana? Good to see you. And so we've got that, and then uh, we're starting a new live series inside our Healthy Christian Women Facebook group where we're gonna be doing some live trainings and some Q&A in our Healthy Christian Women Facebook group. So let me share this into our groups. And then this morning we're gonna be talking about the blessing of support, the blessing of support. We all need good friends. <laughs> it is Diana, hey girl, good to see you. We all need good friends, we need good support. And this is definitely something that we've been talking about in our mental wellness challenge as well. And so uh, God gave me a beautiful scripture to share with you this morning, and uh, it'll really encourage us about the benefit of support. And so let's go ahead. We're going to pray in just a minute. And then right now is your time to share, tag, and invite. And I'm going to do the same, sharing this into our Facebook group. And then we'll get started. Hey, good to see you, Valerie. I know. Good morning. Great to see you. We did not have a Monday Morning Momentum uh, Devo last week, so I was up in the mountains, actually, on a little staycation with my husband, and so we didn't have that last week, uh, but let me change this just a minute, but I'm happy to be back here with you, and we've got some exciting things planned for this week, and so happy Monday to you. Yeah, good to see you, good to be seen, yes, for sure, so let's pray, and then we'll dive into this morning's message about the benefit of good support. All right, the blessing of support. That's what I titled it. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for uh, just our ability to connect in this way. Thank you for all the things that you're doing in our life, all the things that you're doing in the Fit Plus Faith community, in the women that are involved in all the different things that we have going on. We thank you, God, that you are active in all of it. In all of our lives, you are always there. You never leave us. You are so patient. You guide us. You show us what we need. You bring us what we need when we need it. We thank you, God. Help us to continue to grow in our trust on this journey with you. <laughs> that ultimately, you're after our hearts. You're after our hearts. You want us to grow and learn to trust you and mature in our faith. And you're so patient with us. We thank you, Lord. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you just speak to and through me this morning with this message of a blessing of support. Thank you that you've created us for relationship, for community. We thank you, God. And we just, we just um, ask that you speak to everyone that is catching this, whether it's live, on the replay, um, in the future, on the podcast, that you just speak to their heart, Holy Spirit, with exactly what they need to hear and the action that you want them to take from here. We thank you and praise you. We ask all these things in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so amen. So good to see you ladies this morning. So as we talk about the blessing of support, I want you to begin thinking right now, who is that support that you have in your life? Who is the support that you have in your life? I'm praying that you do have some. If you come to find that, you know, I really don't know, I really don't have much support, then this is an area of prayer. Uh, let us know so that we can be praying for you and also so that you can begin having a very specific, specific prayer request to the Lord. Oftentimes what I've found in the past is that if my prayer requests are too broad, then how do I really know that it was God that brought the answer? So we wanna have very specific prayer requests to the Lord so that we can keep track. We can keep a prayer journal and we can keep track when those specific needs are getting met. And so, Pray then for more support if you're not having it. Pray to have a good friend. Pray for a good community, a good community in your local community. Pray for online support like what we have here. So we need the blessing of support. And I'm going to read this passage for you today 
to help share that. And so this is, I'm reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. So if you've got your good book, you want to turn with me, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12. It says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken, or some translations say not easily broken. I love this because it shares with us the importance of a second person in our life, a support system of some kind. It's I love it because it gives such practical application, right? If there's two of you, you can get work done faster, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate doing yard work. I hate doing dishes. But when my husband and I team up together, it just gets done in half the time. And I'm like, okay, that wasn't that bad, you know? So when two are together, they can get stuff done quicker. If you're out, you know, I love the example of if you're out and you're alone and it's nightfall, I think of like camping, hiking, and then camping at night. If it's just you, you're going to be cold at night. But if there's another person, you can snuggle up together. You can have body heat, body warmth, and keep you warmer. It's like, it's just so practical, the benefit of two. It says if one, if there's only one, they can be easily overpowered. But if there's two, they can then defend themselves, easily defend yourselves. We need the benefit of support. And then it says a three-strand cord. A three-strand cord is not easily broken. So two is better than one. Three is better than two. God himself shows us that in the Trinity himself, one God, but three pieces of God, three, not pieces is not the best word. Uh, what is the word we would look for? Three persons. There we go. One God, a triune God, one God, but three persons. And each of them has their own individual benefit, individual characteristics. Right? Getting to know God in the three ways of God, Holy Spirit, Jesus, the Son, and then God the Father. They each have their own attributes. They have their own powers and, and things that they bring to the table. And it's, it's just incredible. And so I love that God himself demonstrates that. It's not just him alone. It's not just God the Father, the Creator alone. It's all of them. All of them together with their unique attributes and their unique time in history where they had their biggest impact, right? Hi, Alicia, she says that scripture is so heartwarming to know that support is needed. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. We read from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. I love it because it's just so practical. If one falls down, his friend can help him up, right? Imagine, think of a time when you fell and no one was around. <laughs> it's not easy to get up. Oh my gosh, I went jogging one time. This was like last year. I wrote a blog post about it because it was so embarrassing. I went jogging and I full on ate it. Like I fell, I ate it, I skinned my knees, I had bloody knees underneath my leggings. It was awful. I don't know if you guys could hear my cat. He's like running around. <laughs> and you know, when you're by yourself and you fall, first of all, you're completely humiliated. If you had a friend, you could at least like laugh with your friend, you know, try to like take some of the embarrassment away and then have their help getting up. <laughs> but when it's just you, you're com completely humiliated, right? I couldn't look around to see who had seen me. And then getting up and like hobbling away, like tucking tail and like in shame, like running away and going back home. I wasn't even that far out in my job. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, sister. And so 
I, it was just so embarrassing. And the reason that I fell guys, side note, I fell because I was totally looking at myself in the reflection of a shop window while I was, while I was jogging. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, it was so embarrassing. And thank you so much for these sweet comments. Morning, Christy. And so I wrote a whole blog post about it. I'll try to find it and <laughs> post it for you. But it, uh, it was called Pride Comes Before the Fall. That's literally what happened and that's literally how I wrote my blog post. I titled that because that's fully what happened. I was jogging, I had new leggings on that I loved from Fabletics. And I was jogging and I looked at myself in the, the storefront reflection mirror, not even a mirror, the glass. And then there's a completely uneven sidewalk and I tripped and full on ate it. I still have scars on my knees, scars on my knees because of my skin just being like fully ripped off underneath my leggings. It was so awful. It was like one of the first times I wore these new leggings too. <laughs> I literally, I was so happy about these new leggings and they're, you know, they're quite expensive. And so uh, some of the, the, the lace part that was on them tore. And so I, I knew a seamstress and I took them to the seamstress and had her fix it. And then like, you can't even tell that they ever tore. That's how much I love these leggings. I was like not willing to just let them have a hole and never wear them again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry, we're getting on a tangent. But man, man. That's a whole different story <laughs> about pride comes before the fall. So funny, but this is the whole point, right? Is that we're talking in these scriptures that if a man falls and he has a friend, his friend can help pick him up. If I had a friend with me when I fell, I, I promise you I would have immediately just started laughing. But when you're by yourself, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in pain. That was so embarrassing. I fully fell because it was my own fault for not paying attention, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. So I love these scriptures too, just like Alicia said, because it just shows the practicality of the blessing of having support, of having friends, good friends, friends that you can confide in, that you can laugh with, that pull the best out of you. Cultivate those good kind of friends, guys. You have a choice. You have a choice. What kind of people are you surrounding yourself with? You have a choice. When you say that I don't have a choice, you're giving in to victim mentality and that's not true. Yeah, Diana, for sure. If I had a friend, it would have totally been laughing out loud fully. Oh my gosh, but otherwise it was so embarrassing. And then I just had to hobble back home and then like bandage up my knees and they were just like scarred and it was awful. Oh my gosh. But there is so much beauty to having good friends and having good support. So that's why this morning is called the blessing of support. Who do you have in your life that can be that support for you? And you may have different people in your life that are supporting in different ways. And that's great. That's actually healthy to have different friends that meet different needs and that bring different support. That way you're not putting all of your, um, not trying to get all of your needs met through only one person. That's putting the wrong expectation on them. That's not fair to them, right? We can't offload all of our stuff onto just one person. To Jesus, yes. <laughs> Any other human person, no. And so we need these different friends in these different capacities that just support us in all different areas. And if you don't have it, I encourage you to pray for it. Pray specifically for it. What is the need that you're having? What is the friend that you're looking for that can fill that? Maybe it's just friendship, companionship. Maybe just to have somebody to, to hang out with, to go to the gym with. Maybe it's a, an exercising accountability person. Maybe it's somebody in a Bible study that you would want more, you know, spiritual support and to be able to have some deeper spiritual conversations with like whatever is your specific thing, pray for those friends. God will bring them to you. And if you have people in your life that are, that are negative for you, that are not healthy for you, that are not meeting those deeper needs, or they're just a bad influence, then you, you have the power and choice to do something about it. You can be removing yourself from those situations or asking God to remove them for you if you can't, right? I've had, I've done that before. I've had to ask the Lord to remove people from my life that I just, I didn't feel like I had the, the power or the strength 
or the courage to do it on my own. And he did. God literally removed those people out of my life. They, would, they moved away. It happened multiple times. And I was so thankful. <laughs> I was so thankful. And I knew that God was answering my prayer in a radical way by having them move and leave. And it was, it was a blessing to me, man. Deanna says, my, uh, hey Karen, good to see you. My best friend got married and moved to Florida a year ago. She was here last week and we both shared how we need to find another local bestie. It's true, it's true. We do need those in-person friends. It's great to have online friends. It's great to connect with your friends on the phone or you know through video chat. But we still, there's something just really special about an in-person friend, right? Yeah, you need to find another local bestie. I'm feeling alone because she was my plus one for everything, for sure. Yeah, well, we'll be praying for you for that as well. We'll definitely be praying for you for that as well. Diana says, I've had to cut out a friend a few months ago that was negative and toxic. Good for you. You made, that's the best choice. That's the wise choice. It's not always easy to do. Oftentimes it's very difficult to do, but it is necessary to do. Man, especially if you're getting inklings from the Holy Spirit that this is not beneficial for you. Christy says, in another way, pray to be that friend for someone else. Yeah, I love that too. Great perspective. Pray to be that friend for someone else. How can we be that support system for someone else? How can we be a better friend? Not always looking internally for self-serving purposes, but how can we be the kind of friend that the other people need? Asking what their needs are. Just kind of sometimes, let's just start over again. You know, how can I best be there for you? What do you need? That's beautiful. Thank you, Christy. So good. I love it. So there we go. Our Monday morning momentum this morning is about support, the blessing of support. What I'd like you to do throughout the week, this week, is to be looking around who are your support systems. You probably have or you need support systems in different areas of your life. So start to just like take a look around as you go through your week. Who are the people that you're coming in contact with? What are the activities that you're involved in? Who are the support pieces that you have around you? And on the flip side of that, then what are the holes? What are the things that are missing? Or what are the ones like Diana said that are toxic, that are not good, that you need to eliminate? So the holes that need to be filled become your prayer requests and the things that need to be eliminated, getting the strength and courage to begin taking those steps and cultivate a beautiful community of support. There is blessing in support and then meditating on those verses then from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 11. Awesome, you're welcome for the prayers as well, Diana. So thank you ladies for being here with me this morning. We have a lot of very exciting things going on in our Healthy Christian Women Facebook group in our private group this week uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time today. We'll be doing a training on the introduction to the Fit Plus Faith movement. So for those of you that are new to the Fit Plus Faith community, I'll be kind of sharing with you the, the bigger picture and all the moving pieces that we have going on so that you can best get the most out of it and, uh, and just come join us and be involved in what we're doing here, transforming your life in healthy mind, body, and spirit. So I'll be looking forward to that training. We've got some extra special things going on in our Facebook group this week. So head on into there, come join us there if you're not yet a part of it. And then, uh, man, we're wrapping up our 21 day mental wellness challenge. So that's exciting. That wraps up this week as well. We are gonna be starting a new six week slim down starting on Monday, next Monday, a week from today. So I'll be posting links for that as well. Good to see you, Grace. I'll be posting links for that as well. We're having a six week slim down, which will take us right into the middle of December. So if you're wanting some more accountability and support as we head into the holidays, then you'll be wanting to be a part of our fall slim down. That's gonna start next Monday. So more details to come for all of those things. Have a great rest of your day. This is Dr. Melody with Fit Plus Faith. Blessings to you, and I'll see you later inside all the different things that we have going on.